Okay, so first of all, I need an uh, input to work with. So I imported a photo. And now I need a transform and level. I could scale it a little bit. And now I need a threshold, but for now I can bypass it. And this place and blur top here. And connect this threshold to blur and blur to second input in the displays. Change a little bit this place weight here. In my case is minus 0.5 and increase uh, blur size by this filter parameter and by this pressuring parameter too. Okay. Now we need a blur and now just increase pressing to maximum and now we need a feedback uh, loop and this one will be based on feedback technique from my latest video uh, with lines and gradients so we need a feedback level and composite so that's really easy uh, loop and here change operation to y film uh, decrease uh, opacity just a little bit send this composite to feedback and for now we can bypass it okay and we need a, another one composite and we can also send our threshold here to the select because we will use it in this composite. Okay. And here change operation to overlay. And make another one composite here with this comp from feedback loop and this blur before feedback loop. Okay, and in this one it will stay as, a, as it is with a multiply operation. Okay, and now limit top and quantize position to ceiling and just a little bit okay so now we have these pixels here so now uh, make this one a little bit brighter so level and brightness to something really big like uh, 7.8 Or maybe it's too big, so <laughs> decrease it to 7.5 or 4. And now blur top. Filter size to 6. And noise top. So just increase this resolution to 1280 by 1280. 
and change period to zero. We can also animate this one by typing uh, abs time that seconds multiply it by something really small like I do. So okay. Now composite and this blur here and operation will be overlay. But we need to change order of our layers here. So the blur free should be the zero layer and noise one the one layer. Okay. And now we can make a composite here. Connect our limit from bottom and change operation for glow in this one. Also change this uh, order of the layers limit one as the first and blow as the second. Okay. Here make this a composite with noise a little bit more brighter. In my case, uh, I choose two. And now we can blend it together with a composite and operation negate. Okay. And now we can play with this level on the beginning of our chain. So increase the con black levels for, uh, for 0.3 or something like this. And brightness a little bit more to about 3.4. Okay, I will make a keyboard in to easily reset feedback, so just link it here. And now we can play with some values. Here it looks really nice. And also try to change this order here to something to uh, first one the blur okay so now we have more glitchy stuff
So you can uh, try the other uh, operation and uh, all of these composites to get some other results like something like this. Or maybe here to add some noise on the bottom. threshold here to get only lines and you can uh, turn off this feedback So by decreasing this filter size here, we get something like a, a little grains. Uh, uh, uh. And also by playing this filter size, uh, connected to this place, uh, we get more curvy lines here. And now we can uh, bypass this threshold to get some nice looking colors. And also play with black level Okay, you can also try uh, 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 by passing this feedback because of this uh, Y film operation, it uh, behaves uh, a little bit strange. Uh, I really don't know what exactly this operation uh, do to the image. So just play with the feedback, a little bit with level and with this composite more operations here you can also try to by passing some of it to get uh, other colors and here and I think that's all for this tutorial. So, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one, I think, pretty soon. Uh, you can also check my uh, Patreon to uh, support me if you want. So, thanks for all my patrons and bye.